And tonight, controversy continues to swirl around the University of Pennsylvania transgender swimmer Leah Thomas, whose continued participation in and dominance of women's swimming prompted the NCAA to issue a rule change. Now, following a vote last week, they agreed to, quote, take a, quote, sport by sport approach to transgender participation. Now, while deferring to the national governing body of each sport, in this case, the U.S. swimming, for an official policy, now the NCAA deferring this policy uh, making only has led to more confusion. Many of these governing bodies have no official guideline at all. Meanwhile, her continued domination of the sport is sparking widespread outrage. Now, Piers Morgan, writing in the New York Post, calling the NCAA to quote, stop this woke insanity now, the father of another Penn swimmer lamenting, quote, in an anonymous interview with Fox News that her teammates are realizing they'll never have a chance at winning podium, winning the podium, so long as she continues to compete given the physical disadvantages that they face. But this woke ideology doesn't stop with athletics, as we're now learning tonight. Chicago, Chicago public school teachers are now being forced to undergo training in which they were told that sex is a social construct not rooted in biology. Now, Olympic gold medalist and former California gubernatorial candidate Caitlyn Jenner, Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce, join us for reaction. Uh, Caitlyn, I noticed in the Piers article you were quoted as saying some really interesting things to me. Uh, and we've known each other for a long time. And you said the NCAA is kicking the can down the road. In the case of Leah Thomas, you said, you don't care about her testosterone levels now for the last year or two, but you care about it for the first 16 or 17 years of her life. And you even mentioned that you wouldn't play in a woman's all-woman's golf tournament because you can still outdrive all girls by 100 yards and you have no testosterone. Um, I know you've taken heat for saying that. Explain well, I've been pretty consistent, Sean, from the beginning. I've said that biological boys should not play in women's sports. It is just not fair. We have to protect women's sports from something like this. Um, Leah Thomas, uh, first of all, I respect her right to live her life authentically. Suffering from gender dysphoria is a horrible lifelong struggle. struggle. And every story is different. Let me tell you, Sean, I know that one. And I respect her right to do that. But with that comes some responsibility and integrity in what you're doing. And I don't know why she's doing it. Uh, we, we live in this woke world right now that's driving me crazy. I feel sorry for the girls on the Penn team because they have to be so woke and say, oh, this is great, we're down deep inside. They say, <laughs> they're saying this is wrong. Um, and a couple of them anonymously, because they can't come out, and parents have now come out, uh, but they have to do it anonymously uh, and say this is wrong. And it is wrong. Um, and I'm very disappointed in the NCAA. They did kick the can down the road. And, uh, but we have to deal with this issue. We have to protect women's sports. They've worked so hard for equality. Look at Title IX. For years, they got that and finally got it through. I love women's sports. We have to protect it. Yeah, and by the way, Piers Morgan was saying, you know, I want nothing but tolerance, fairness, equality for all transgender people. People wouldn't go through the lengthy physical, emotional turmoil if they didn't genuinely feel they were trapped in the wrong body and sexuality. I mean, Tammy, I think you know, that's a pretty thoughtful column. He'll probably be attacked for it. But he's saying straight up that well. pretty much what Caitlin's saying. Yeah, well, a lot of us have been attacked from both sides of the aisles for a number of different reasons. But you know what changes it? is when someone like Caitlyn Jenner stands up for what's right, because that's what this is about. It has really nothing to do with transgenderism at all. This is about fair play. It's about decency. It's about being fair with your fellow competitors or with your neighbors. This is about the nature of doing what's right in the midst of whatever your work is, and if that's going to give you an advantage. And you, you must know, and I, I don't know Leah, I'm sure she's a wonderful woman, at the same time, she knows at every single meet that it is not an even playing field. She knows it every single time she blows out women's records uh, every moment. And that is what we're talking about here. So there is a small section of bullies 
who want no one to speak about this, but I can tell you, as uh, Caitlin has refused to participate in certain women's sports because she knows of her physical difference and her uh, the ability to do better because of that physical difference, having grown as a boy and then as a male. And now we know, I've, I've got several transgender friends who also agree that this is outrageous. We also don't know of those athletes who have refused to do this because they don't make the news. So I just want to tell everyone watching that this is not about the transgender community. There is, this is not universally what is wanted. In fact, it harms the nature and the argument about, about who people are in general. Let me tell you, if someone's going to be unfair as a transgender woman, they're going to be unfair as the man that they were. They're going to be unfair as a person. That's why this is about the individual. Uh, and even well, after 17 years with this network, I, I have to say this every now and then, Sean, is that as a gay woman, I understand the difference of living a different life. And it is about respecting the community and making decisions that's best in general for the people that you're with. Well, then I can ask both of you the same question. Generally speaking, Caitlin, how many times do you find yourself running into bigoted people? Or Tammy, same question. We'll go with Caitlin first. Well, to be honest with you, um, you get that. I never, honestly, I never get that to my face. To my face, people are so nice. <laughs> right. They're great. They're wonderful. <laughs> By the way, they're and, nice to me, too, and to my face. Then I walk away and I hear yeah, it in the background. Yeah, to my face. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then yeah. you go I, online I, and check comments, which I don't do very often, but sometimes I find it kind of fun. But first of all, um, I can take a lot of heat. I'm kind of used to it, Sean. Mm -hmm. um, and to be honest with you, a lot of those comments that people make with nobody around, uh, I, I don't know if they really believe that kind of stuff. They may, but that's okay. I mean, honestly, I can take it. I'm about, you know, I, Sean, I'm a patriot. I love this country. I love our freedoms, you know, and I, and I love the trans community, but we have to do what's fair and we have to do what's right. Yeah. So. You know, Leah Thomas grew up as a biological boy. A couple of years ago, was on the male swim team. Um, a couple of years of, you know, hormones and testosterone depressants doesn't change a lot of things. You know, hands are big, cardiovascular system big. You see pictures, her back is huge. She can run, I mean, she can swim really fast. And it's it's just not All fair. Right. Ta it's not Tammy fair. Will give I think you the, last the NCAA I want to make sure. has to really look into this. I Tammy, we have about 45 seconds. I want to make sure, yep, I want to make sure uh, that Caitlin knows and everyone else knows the importance of standing up for what you believe in, as the parents are, because we must make a, a turn here. Transgenders, gay people, others must stand up and must hear honest opinions about this, that there, it does no good for the community yeah. to be bullies or to not speak the truth about the nature of what's going on. I want to thank Caitlin for being a great role model and for doing the right thing and for everyone else uh, to stand up because it helps all of us in the community to be honest and to be fair. There's just no doubt about it.